All right, Bar Naturals Prez. Talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. Back with That's Good Money out here in Juniper Park today. Look, today I'm going to be bringing you more of a video that's going to benefit you guys for your posture, your overall well-being, right? Look, nowadays you see a lot of people what's called rounded shoulders, right? With that forward rolling head, forward rolling shoulders. Very common problem in society. It's going to lead to a lot of problems with your neck, shoulder pain, impingement in the upper back. And again, it's gonna to lead to being in bad posture. Bad recruitment patterns is gonna to lead to injuries down the line. The more and more your body's in a bad, unoptimal position, the more it's gonna damage yourself down the long run, right? So you guys wanna maintain, remember, posture should be neutral body alignment, shoulders and not put, pinch back, shoulders aren't rolled forward, shoulders should naturally fall to the side of your body. Neck should be neutral, straight, you don't wanna roll forward. You don't want your head, uh, your neck extended back. Again, very common problem that you see that nowadays. One, most of the time people spend nowadays is always in that forward roll shoulder position, right? So if you spend a lot of time in a movement pattern in a specific uh, range of motion, your body's gonna get comfortable and get used to that motion or pattern and think that that's what's normal, right? So now, remember, if you guys are sitting at a desk, let's say you're sitting on your desk and you're typing on a keyboard all day, what's happening? Your shoulders are rolled forward, right? Let's say you guys are sitting there on your phones, whether you're standing up, whether you're sitting down, look what's happening. Your neck is down, head is rolled forward, shoulders are hunched over, right? You're getting that hunch back just because you're just sitting around unknowingly. You guys are leading to bad movement patterns. What else? You guys shake hands all day, reaching for objects, and general lack of people being able to realize that they can fix it relatively easily. You don't need much to do it, right? So if you see yourself, getting that forward rounded shoulder posture. One, if you guys exercise, it's gonna to lead to bad exercise positioning. Because now when you're doing any pressing motion, your body's gonna be used to rounded forward and you're gonna be, dis you're not gonna be using the, the proper muscles. You're gonna be using, you're gonna be lengthening muscles in the back while shortening muscles in the front, which is not what you wanna do, right? You want everything to have a balance. So first thing that you guys wanna practice working on is getting your body into more external rotation. Now daily activities, there's not many activities during the day when you're you don't shake people's hands like this, right? Not during the day, people don't walk around like this, people don't text like this, people don't type <laughs> on the computers like that, right? So you really don't have a reason to put your shoulders in healthy positioning, right? Unless you're conscious of it. So the first thing that I want you guys to practice, listen, you guys, optimally, ideally, you guys will have a resistance band, but if you don't have one, I'll show you guys how you can do it with that one, right? First thing you're gonna do, get your shoulders into external rotation. You guys are gonna do just simple shoulder, rotations without a band and all you're gonna do you're gonna start neutral come forward roll your body back right so now you're rolling into external rotation when you want to make sure you're keeping that head up and chest up you don't want to do it like this you don't want to do it when you're rounded forward you want to stand up tall lift your arms up up and go around now listen you may only be able to do it like this right you may not be able to make full big circles yet why because you're not used to it. you may not have the range of motion in the shoulders because if you're always in this position Think about it, right? Think about a rubber band that's being stretched, stretched, stretched this way, right? It's gonna have a lot of elasticity this way, but then when you go to like, it's gonna be very short and loose over here, right? So think of that, all these muscles are pulled forward this way, long, 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 they're being stretched. When these muscles are being pinched together, right? They're very slacky, they have a lot of slack in them, like almost pull these muscles out, right? So you wanna make sure you're neutral, head up, chest up, boom, simple shoulder rotations. And how do you take that to the next level? you do it with a resistance band. Why? Because a resistance band is gonna add a little bit of tension and resistance to the exercise in, in itself. And also it's gonna allow you to do it in harder variations. So beginners, if you're just getting a resistance band, you wanna start with a light band, you wanna grab it at the very end. The wider your hands are, the easier it is to get into full external rotation. So I'll demonstrate beginner variation. Look, I'm grabbing it all the way at the end. What you don't want, like I said, you don't want it to be slacky. You want the band to have tension. So the first thing you can do is pull the band so there's tension in the band. Remember, bands allow you to pull them farther and farther apart. So the less mobility you have, the easier it'll be with a band because the band will stretch with your body. So light band, grabbing it all the way at the end. And you just want to do now these full external rotation movements. And you want to come into internal rotation. Well, to the front, but now watch guys, watch from the side. Shoulders rounded forward here, right? You don't want to be in this position. This is taking it to external rotation. Now watch when I go forward, guys. I'm keeping the head up, chest up. 
I am just moving the shoulder joint around. Now look at my shoulder. Shoulder is still neutral as opposed to being round forward, right? Why? Because I'm pulling that band. Keeping that tension in the band is going to activate the posterior chain. It's going to activate the scapula, the traps, the rhomboids, which are going to keep the shoulders pulled back into neutral position, right? The second you lose tension and you let those shoulders roll forward, you're losing tension in the band and you're now in that disadvantage, disadvantage position where your shoulders roll forward. So tension on the band, head up, chest up, shoulders are neutral for the starting position, all the way around into external rotation. Hit the lower back if you can. If you can't, you go to whatever range of motion is comfortable for you. So now, most people when they start this exercise out cannot go fully with a band, right? Because as they go further for the back, there's gonna be tension in this band pulling you and the pulling you and the shoulder blades back into position. If you're not strong enough, you don't have that shoulder blade stability, you're not gonna be able to get farther and farther. What I want you to do is over time, let's just say for instance, your first time going, you can only get to here. You wanna hold this band here as long as you can. 15 to 20 second holds, 15 to 20 second isometric holds. That's where the body starts adapting and getting stronger in that position, allowing you to go further and further the next time. So set one, you only may get to here, right? We're gonna hold 10, 15 seconds, right? We're gonna hold in this range 10, 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds, we're gonna come back forward. We're gonna go again. Now the second rep, you might be able to get further to here now. Why? Because you adapted the nervous system, you fought through this shake here, you opened up your shoulders, now you can get a little lower. Next set, go back forward, come back around. Eventually you're gonna be able to get to your lower back. Full range of motion, arms stay straight, bring it back to the front. And again guys, every time you wanna make sure the shoulders stay neutral, you wanna keep the tension in the band. So if you come forward and you lose tension, see look, I lost tension in the band, my shoulders rolled forward. If I have tension in the band, the shoulders are engaged and they're put into that neutral position, which is where you want them to be. Now, once you get good at it doing, doing the rotations this way, where you're starting with the band in front of you and the shoulders in neutral grip position, the next variation, which is a harder variation, is to start with the band behind your back. Now you're starting with your shoulders in external rotation. And another thing that's gonna switch now is the grip position. So remember, if you're starting with the band in front of you, you're doing it pronated grip with your palms facing down, right? If you were on a pull-up bar, right here, right? Pull-up grip, palms facing away from the body, that's pronated grip. Now if we're doing it the more advanced version, now we're gonna have supinated grip, guys. So we're gonna start with the behind us, the palms are gonna be facing forward, but reverse now. So watch, you guys are gonna see. We're gonna start with the band behind us now, same thing. We're gonna pull the band with tension. And now we're gonna come around from here. Come back around. So now you're keeping the shoulders in external rotation the whole set. From the back, head up, chest up. It's almost very hard to let your band, those shoulders roll forward here. It's not gonna feel very comfortable. So keeping that band tense, come back down to the waist, come all the way back around. So starting with your shoulders in external rotation and your palms almost supinate. Remember, starting forward, palms are facing down this way, here, right? The end position, the palms are here. When you're behind your body, the palms are rotated forward and you're rotating back this way. Two variations of this uh, band dislocates. You guys can show, call these band dislocates or shoulder dislocates or shoulder rotations, whatever you want to call them, right? What they're doing is putting your shoulders into external rotation. So whether you have a band or not, again, if you don't have a band, you guys can try this exercise out. Body weight again with no band here. Rotate forward, end here. Rotate forward. Rotate forward. You're gonna feel more engagement and a little more pinching in the scapula and the traps, but a good in a good way. You're not pinching the shoulders back in a bad, uncomfortable way. You're just feeling the shoulder blades being pinched back, which is how they're supposed to be when you're doing any type of pressing motion. Remember, head up, chest up. It's a very common cue when doing any type of lift, right? So you wanna make sure, and especially if you guys are training in the gym with weights or dumbbells, you never wanna be in that rounded shoulder position. You always want, again, head up, chest up. Pull-ups, head up, chest up, shoulder blades come back. The only time I don't say head up, chest up, shoulders back is when you're doing dips, because that's gonna put you at a disadvantage, disadvantageous position when doing dips. It's gonna impinge the traps. And again, remember, the dips are, are exercise for the anterior chain, right? Dips are primarily working chest and triceps as opposed to working the posterior chain where you're really not really working traps, scapula, etc. So the second exercise you guys are gonna wanna do, you guys are gonna want a bar for this, right? Or anything that you can set this resistance band up to. 
Now it really doesn't matter the height. Ideally, you want a bar that's not, you don't want the bar to be too low, right? Because you don't want a bar that's lower than head. You want it to be head high or higher, ideally. So I'll demonstrate it on this bar. And what we're gonna do, they're called face pose, right? You guys could do this in the gym with cables. You guys could do this with bands. You guys could also do this body weight, which I will demonstrate also next. So, face pose. Now, benefit of a face pull is again, let me show you guys something. I'm gonna take the hoodie off for this. Remember guys, we got our scapula, right? Scapula's muscle in the posterior chain. It's a muscle that looks, it's like this, right? So the scapula goes like this, it moves like this, and it moves like this, it moves up, it moves down. But, so we got two, mo two main, well, four main motions of the scapula. We have protraction, retraction, elevation, and depression. Think shrugging your shoulders up, saying, eh, whatever. That's elevation of the scapula. Think you're reaching for an item that's out of your reach without bending the arm. That's protraction of the scapula. Think pulling the shoulder blades back. That's retraction. Depression is just bringing the shoulders down and back, sticking that chest up, shoulders down and back, right? So four main movements of the scapula. Now, remember, almost all calisthenic movements are gonna, everything's gonna involve the scapula, right? Spe spe specifically, push-ups, pull-ups are gonna be going through elevation depression. Push-ups are gonna be going through protraction and retraction. Now remember, what you wanna do for your shoulders, ideally you're in that external rotation, right? That's bringing your shoulders into a retracted position. So the benefit of a face pull is it's gonna bring your body through full protraction and retraction with tension. It's gonna teach you how to control the scapula with a load on it, right? And when you're in that external rotation, that's when the load is gonna be greatest. That's where you're gonna have the most resistance, teaching the shoulder blades to get stronger in that external rotation position. So, face pull, guys. You wanna grab whatever you're doing. If you're doing a resistance band, you're grabbing your palms down. If you have a cable, you could do this with a rope on the cable. You could do this with two cables. Doesn't matter. So, palms down. You're gonna step back until there's tension on the on the band, right? So right here, there's not really much tension. There's a lot of slack still. So I'm taking a step back. We got tension on the band. Look, guys. Naturally, look. This band is pulling my shoulders into internal rotation, into that forward rolling shoulder, right? Now, the benefit of this is it's gonna strengthen your body going into external rotation. So remember, guys. Protraction. Retraction, that's a straight arm movement. Now you could do this and just strengthen up protraction and retraction on its own. This would not be a face pull, this would just be doing protraction and retraction with a band. A face pull, now we're starting with protracted shoulders, pulling the shoulder blades back, and we're pulling the elbows back until the band gets to our forehead. The band of the cable, whatever you're pulling. So look, protracted shoulders, internally rotated, pulling them back into external rotation. Pausing at the forehead, keeping the shoulder blades back, pinching them back. That's where you're really putting them into external rotation. And getting that pause with resistance is strengthening up the whole posterior chain. Strengthening. Remember, guys, if you're always rounded forward, these muscles are stretched out, right? These muscles are shortened. Now, look. Now, if I'm in this position, everything is contracted evenly, right? Now, these muscles are no longer long. They're now contracted in the contracted position. So, remember, protracted, shoulders back, pulling from the shoulders to the forehead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You guys wanna aim for 10 to 15 reps. This exercise should not be fatiguing, it should not be done with a heavy load. Small load, small resistance, under control, get more repetitions in. That's how you're gonna train the movement pattern. That's how you're gonna get stronger in it. So, like I told you, there is a variation of this movement that you could do body weight. I'm gonna show you guys this now. I've showed you this before on G's channel also. So we're gonna do body weight face pulls. All you guys are gonna need is a dip bar for this. You go, man, you gotta move this one. So look guys, opposite of doing, not opposite, almost the same as doing body weight pulls, I mean body weight rows or Australian pull-ups, but instead of pulling to the chest, we're pulling to the forehead now, guys, look. So normally if you're doing rows, you're gonna line up with the bar parallel to the waist, right? Now you're gonna move a little forward so the head is in line with the bar. Same thing, shoulders back, chest up, pulling back from the shoulder blade, pull to the forehead.
And again, guys, aiming for 10 to 15 reps. Typically, you want to do all these shoulder movements with the band, the external rotations, the face pulls should be done as a warm-up. Look, my man's doing them right now, warming up his shoulders with external rotation, right? Because healthy shoulder joints are gonna be key to avoiding injury during your routine, right? Every exercise is gonna come from the shoulder, whether you're doing dips, pull-ups, push-ups. The only thing that's not gonna bother the shoulder joint is if you're doing a lower body exercise such as squats, right? But anything in the gym or calisthenic, all movements gonna initiate with some shoulder joint, right? So you wanna make sure you have healthy shoulders, mobile shoulders. Now, the last exercise I'm gonna show you guys, you don't have to do it. The band rotations, the face pulls, whether you're doing body weight or just regular, regular banded face pulls, are gonna be more than enough to teach your body proper positioning. Doing it one time is not gonna be enough, right? Again, these should be staple warm-up routines that you keep into your uh, workout every time you train. And if you don't train, if you train very randomly, do these exercises if you're noticing you just have a regular forward rolling shoulders in your daily life, right? You're not into exercise and you watch these videos, you just wanna learn how to fix your posture, you don't need to exercise to do this. Get a band, do the rotations, do the face pulls, avoid doing the body weight face pulls, just do everything with the band. Now, once you get good at all these exercises and you're a little bit, and you have awareness of your body and you're getting shoulder mobility, right? People will tell you, this is a bad exercise, a dangerous, dangerous exercise to do. It's only dangerous if you don't have the shoulder mobility to do it but it's also gonna teach very healthy positioning for the shoulders if you can do it correctly. And this is gonna be behind the neck pull-up, right? Remember, doing a regular pull-up, you're almost starting neutral to internally rotated, and when you pull out, you're pulling your shoulder blades back, down and back into external rotation. But now if you're doing a behind the neck pull-up, you're dead hanging with your shoulder blades already pushed back, and then you're pulling the bar behind your neck, keeping the whole movement in that external rotation. So, it's gonna look like this, guys. I'll face this way then. Okay. I'm gonna show you both ways. So look, regular pull-ups, guys. Regular pull-ups were dead hanging, right? My shoulders are almost in front of my body. Remember, if I had my head here and I go straight up, my head's hitting the bar, right? So I have to retract the scapula a little bit. Shoulder back, chest up, pulling up, right? But as you pull up, the shoulder blades get pushed down, right? But now, let's say we're doing behind the neck pull-ups. How's the breath gonna start? We're starting like this, right? Heads in front of the body, we're pulling up. Now look, the bar is behind our neck the whole time. So behind the neck pull-ups are more an advanced variation of a shoulder exercise that you guys can do. Remember, it's gonna train the shoulders to be pushed back. It's gonna target a little more rear delts than typical pull-ups or, or pull-ups in general. And again, it's gonna hit the back in a different variation. If you guys can't do if you guys don't have the mobility to do face pulls yet or, or regular body weight face pulls, don't try that exercise out, it, out again because it can be dangerous to you and it can lead to injury if you don't have the shoulder mobility and range of motion to perform it. So look, it's not very hard to correct forward rolling shoulders, right? There's many exercises, there's even more than this that you guys can do. If you look online, there's plenty of exercises with weights, but for the purpose of the channel, we're not showing any weight bearing exercises or resistance band and body weight variations. But there are tons of weight exercises you guys can do, such as rear delt flies, sock presses, Arnold presses, regular military presses, all those movements that put the shoulders into external rotation are gonna help you build healthier and a better posture, right? But training your body, if you're training and you're not being conscious of your posture and you're training with bad positioning all the time, you're gonna build a bad physique, you're gonna have bad posture and it's gonna lead to more injuries down the line. So look, simple exercises guys, whether you have a band or not, external rotation with the arms, or if you have a band, you do full external rotation. Internal rotate from the back, from the front, right? You wanna go through the full range of motion regardless. Get a band, do face pulls. Again, working through protraction and retraction with load, with proper form is gonna teach you how to work the scapula with resistance on, it's gonna strengthen the scapula. And then again, once you get good at those, you guys can do the body weight variations, the face pulls to the head on the parallel bars, or the behind the neck pull-ups. Like I said, guys, just train smart and hard. Don't just train hard and not smart, because that's how you're gonna get injured. Don't think it's always uh, push yourself to failure every workout, overtrain, overtrain, overtrain. Listen, if you're on gear, that's fine. You can recover a lot better. If you're natural, I'm telling you, you cannot go balls to the wall every day. You're gonna fry out and start regressing. Like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. We appreciate you. 
like the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you. Don't forget to share these videos, guys. It really helps the algorithm up for G. Check out my channel, Bar Naturals. The link will be in the description. And like always, guys, peace out. And yo, don't forget, check out my gear. Check out That's Good Money gear. He got the link in the description for his. You guys can go on my website, barnaturalfitness.com. We got the standard Live Above the Bar collection. With the muscle-up silhouette. We got hoodies, tanks, t-shirts, long sleeves. Don't matter where you are in the world, we got something for you. And like always, guys, peace out. That's good money and bar naturals.